What's up guys, it's Johnny Hollywood from Shockwave Productions and I would like to say hello. Hello. These are some of the projects I've been working on. I've been making a arsenal bow from the show Arrow. Um, I had this bow for, well now I think I got it for Christmas. And it's, uh, this is apparently a trainer's bow and it has this little thing which is supposed to help you. I'll probably take that off and fill in the mark it will leave. But I painted these red. Um, I was going to make it my own design, just paint it red, and on this part of the bow, there used to be a symbol thing here, I ripped that out, and I was going to paint a gold S and make this section gold and red and everything to pay tribute to when he was speedy, but I've been working on this, and I'm not done, but I think it's good for now, I'll probably do some more videos about this later, um, so that's it for that. Um, and I think that's it for DC Comics. Yep. For Marvel Comics. I have this, which is a Captain... Am not a Captain America. Which is a Magneto helmet that I have been working on. I made one before. And I tried using this paper mache type method. And it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So it's more or less a failed project in my eyes, but I mean, if you look at it, it looks kind of crooked. Fits torque pretty well, but I can't get it off. I can't get it off. Um, some areas I cut wrong, and so this is probably going to be scrapped. But the new one I'm making, I will be fiberglassing. Yay. I have all the cardboard pieces cut out for that, so I will probably be gluing it later and um, maybe showing you guys that when it's done. And the fiberglassing part. This is my Captain America helmet I've been working on. I am buying a bunch of more helmets so I can make a bunch more and sell them, but. Hopefully they will turn out better than this one did. I really like the way this one turned out. Um, then I have my other projects like that Captain America helmet. That was This was more of a test subject. But I do have a better one in other places. I had this Destro helmet but it gives me a bobblehead figure. So I don't like it anymore. But that's just there for, you know, nostalgia. This was going to be a helmet that I was creating myself. The internal, anyway. And of course, the Batman cowl. I have this now, which is a body form. And yes, I did have to add the bat nipples. So I have that, and that's there. A bunch of EVA foam, which I will be getting thinner foam for my new 52 suit. So that's not it for all the Marvel things. In this bag. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right. In this bag, whoops, can't go away. I have my Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit. That's where that went. Huh. I have my Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit in here. That's all the puffy paint mods and the jock strap and everything that you don't need to be seeing right now. Um. So I have that, which the Spider-Man project, some cool videos, you might as well check them out since you're looking at my video now. Um, that's been postponed due to lack of money that I put aside for that, but I should be getting that more money for that specific project soon, and I should be working on my new 52 Batman suit soon, along with a bunch of other videos, and... Yeah, that's what I've been working on. I also have this thing to show you. It's an Arkham City battering. <laughs> I made it out of fiberglass and cardboard. And, um, this has three layers of fiberglass on it. Um, when it had two layers, it was able to be thrown and it would come back as a boomerang. But afterwards, I played around with it more and now it does not. 
So, yeah, that's about it for today, guys. I have more projects I will be showing you later. And more stuff I will talk to you guys about later. See you then.